Geeta Thakur. Today we are going to get into class 10 science chapter life processes. We're going to begin with asking us a very important question. What is life? So what is life? What are the criteria based on which we define something as living or something as non-living? How are you different from a rock for example? Uh, you may say you speak, you can see. But uh, is somebody who cannot speak, is somebody who cannot see, if I close my eyes, do I suddenly become dead? So you need to dwell a little further. You may say, I can move, well, I can push a rock, and that makes a rock move. So how is your movement different from that of a rock? Uh, you say, I, I change based on my surroundings. Well, I can tear a piece of paper, I can break that rock, and, it's, and it changes. So again, how are you different from a rock? We need to really be able to define this. So Erwin Schrodinger describes life as something that avoids decay and disorder by investing energy. What does avoid decay and disorder mean? If I just keep a car in a junkyard for a long time, uh, the car is basically going to rust. It's not going to be working after three years, but that's not what happens to our body. Our bodies constantly repair themselves, it grows, I move around, I stay away from danger, uh, there's control and coordination in my body, there is response to stimulus and there is excretion to maintain the body. In order to do that, in order to be different like that, we invest our own energy. I use up the energy, I burn my calories when I'm doing uh, these things and where do I get these calories from? I get these calories from nutrition. So I eat food, I take in the oxygen, which is respiration, all of this for one goal, which is reproduction. And that is why we grow into more complex organisms. That is a very essential part of life. Uh, viruses actually don't have any of the other life processes. All they know is how to make more copies of themselves, how to pass on their genetic material. They go inside a host cell and they, instead of the cell making its own copies, they get the, the cell to make more copies of the viruses. And that's all that they do, they actually just reproduce. And we are quite confused whether to categorize viruses as living or as non-living. So uh, what is life is actually quite debatable. The question, the question is open to a lot of answers. Please put in your comments based on uh, this, what you think life is and what defines life or what should actually constitute of life. What we do know is that there are certain life processes. There is seeking for nutrition, there is movement, there is digestion, there is circulation, there is, which is transport, there is excretion, there is respiration. And we are going to be understanding how cells do this. Cell is actually defined as the basic unit for life, which means all of these processes is what a cell also does. Anything inside a cell is actually not considered living, but the moment you have a whole functioning cell, it's considered living. So a cell is known as a basic unit of life because it performs all of these life processes. Uh, in this chapter, we are going to study about how all of these life processes are performed by cells and by organisms. And what I mean by organisms is by plants, by unicellular organisms and by human beings. Uh, so we've broken up these, uh, this chapter into bite-sized portions of uh, plants performing excretion, plants performing circulation, of animals performing ex excretion and circulation. Uh, please watch those for a complete clarity of uh, the entire gambit of the entire chapter. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be very glad to answer them. Uh, and if you think uh, these videos are helping you enjoy science, helping you understand science a little better, it's helping you clear the concepts of science, uh, please subscribe and keep watching. Thank you. Take care.